Hello, in this video, you are going to be learning how you can easily retouch skin using frequency separation in about 10 minutes. And in case you want to download the raw image to follow along with this tutorial, simply check the link in the description of this video to download the raw image to follow along with this very tutorial. So in order to understand frequency separation, you have to understand that it divides the image into the colors and the textures. So Basically for this image, we only have the background layer. So meaning we have to come and create two layers. That is the color layer and the texture layer. So just press Ctrl J or press Command J on the keyboard to create two copies from uh, the background layer and double click on the name on, of the middle layer, name that to color and double click on the topmost layer, name that to textures. So like you have named these layers, we only want to main with information as named on this layer. So select the color layer and turn off the texture layer. Then you're going to come to filter, blur and come to Gaussian blur in order to blur out textures from the color layer so that you can remain with only the color. So click on an area on the skin that has more skin details, for example, the forehead area in this case. And better you can zoom in to see the pimples quite well. So click on the radius slider, left click, Click and hold down and you drag this towards the right hand side and stop at the point whereby these pimples are just starting to disappear or whereby the textures on the skin are just starting to disappear. Click OK, select the texture layer and now activate it. Then come to image and come to apply image. So remember, for a texture layer, we only want to remain with the textures and no colors. So we are editing a 16-bit image. So when you have 8 or 16 right here, it means your photo is either 8-bit or 16-bit photo. So under layer, select the color layer, channel RGB, blending for a 16-bit image has to be add, a scale is 2, offset 0 and make sure invert is turned on or checked and you'll see the textures on this gray layer. In case you have 8 right here, it means your image is going to be 8-bit. So for an 8-bit photo, after selecting the color layer, channel RGB, come to invert, make sure it is not checked and for the blending, make sure it is set to subtract. The scale is 2 and offset 128 or past 100% and you'll have the same result. So I'll revert my settings to 16-bit settings in this case. So I'll just choose add, invert and click OK. So after this camp, the blend mode, change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Then select both layers, texture layer and color layer and press Ctrl G. Or you can use Command G on the keyboard to group these two layers. Click on the drop down arrow to open up the group and select the color layer. And after selecting the color layer, turn off the texture layer by hiding it. Then come to the brushes, right click and get the mixer brush tool. And for settings of the mixer brush tool, you can simply come and make sure clean brush is selected. And also, this second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected with a weight of 9%, load of 75%, mix at 90%, flat 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on or is not checked. And after doing that, it is time to start blending the skin tone. So how to blend? You simply make sure that you have not zoomed all the way in. So how to blend? You left click and hold down or you click and hold down and you start dragging to mix a given color and blend it to have a better transition. And after blending that color, release the, the click button or release the left click button and left click once again on a brand new color. So you have to follow the way a given area is shaped to keep and maintain the original structures or the original shape of your model's face or skin. So mix the highlights alone, mid-tones alone, and also mix the shadows alone in your image or in your photo. So I'll do this for the rest of the image. So when it comes to the cheek area, it is moving in this direction. So for the brush, I'll move it in this direction. And by the way, to increase or reduce on the size of the brush tool, depending on the area that you're trying to work on, you can simply use the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So you can start mixing this dark color alone and mixing these mid-tones on the cheek area and following the way light is falling on those particular areas of the model skin. So I'll reduce on the size because I have to blend the shadow areas of the nose just like that and blend right here in the middle and blend the highlight area alone and blend this other area that has shadows and i'm following the direction of the nose or how the nose is on the model's body because 
since the nose is moving from up to down that is how i have to take my brush direction in that given way so i'll do this for the rest of the skin so don't forget the neck area and other areas of the image for example the hands and other particular areas that are shown in the photo that you're trying to retouch or edit so i'll just come increase on the size and blend all these particular areas and as you can see the image now looks better and it looks smooth so make sure by the way you can even retouch with the texture layer turned on to blend or see the results quite better so you can see the textures are still left intact within this very image so in order to remove the pimples or blemishes let me show you the before and after for the skin blending and smoothening of the skin tones before after so to remove pimples or skin imperfections from the model skin we are just going to select the layer that contains the textures remember pimples or acne are part of the textures in the image so come to the texture layer and for the texture layer after it is selected come to the add to the tools and get the clone stamp tool the shortcut for the clone stamp tool is s on the keyboard so you can press s and for your settings make sure the hardness is set to zero the mode is normal opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent align this check and the sample is set to current layer because you want to remove the pimples or blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer which is the texture layer so to remove pimples we are going to zoom in make sure you zoom all the way in by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard and after that we just want to remove a pimple so to remove for example this pimple we just want to copy clean skin and place it over the pimple to cover it and in that way the pimple is going to be eliminated or removed from the model skin so to increase or reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool you can use the square bracket keys on the keyboard so make sure that the size is big enough to cover the pimple so we want to sample color from an area that is close to the pimple and paste it over that pimple to remove it so hold on the option key on the keyboard option for mac alternate for windows option left left click option left click and release the option button and simply left click over the pimple to cover it so you have to keep on sampling from nearby areas by pressing the option button depending on the location of the pimple or depending on where the pimple is located so option is for mac then alternate is for windows so i'll try to remove all these imperfections so you have to zoom in and see or identify the pimples or blemishes so i'll do this quickly and it is a better and more effective way for removing pimples or blemishes from uh, the model skin so you can see what we have right now just like that so to see more pimples you, you have the liberty to zoom all the way in and you try to replace those imperfections or pimples with clean skin depending on where they are located so i'll reduce on the size and continue removing all these pimples and blemishes from the model skin remember skin retouching is not only about using the mr brush tool it also rem involves uh, blemish removal or removing those rough textures from the skin that are not meant to be naturally in those areas so i'll just remove all this and you can see right now the image is going to turn out to look better and smooth in this way so after this you can press command minus to zoom out and let's see the overall before and after for the retouching of this very image so this is a before after before after you can even zoom in to see the texture so we have worked on the image while still retaining the original skin details or skin textures on the model skin and it means that we have perfectly done the skin retouching on this very model skin so this is how you can easily understand skin retouching using frequency separation in about 10 minutes and i hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating